Cyberpunk equals latest fiction cult. Cyberpunk equals man slowly evolving into machine. Cyberpunk is high tech meets low life. Cyberpunk is a term coined for a book by Gibson, Neuromancer, the book that really started it all. Writing styles came together and this sort of school of writing, of thought, perhaps more than actual writing style, evolved of sort of a street level science fiction. The, the whole punkiness of the characters, these smart people with access to high technology grabbing what they can, it caught on really fast. About the middle of the 1980s, a couple of writers, notably Bruce Sterling and William Gibson, kind of jumped it, jumped the future forward, and it was dirty. Hello, teenage America. Research laboratories have caught up with and are now overtaking science fiction. In cyberpunk, you get a direct invasion, a literal invasion of the body. You have implants in the brain. Cyberpunk is the consumer's wet dream as well. It's not just about computers. If you're ha unhappy with your body, you just whip out into the body shop and buy bits for yourself, gorilla pectorals, or change your body completely. If you've got something which is a specific genetic feature, the fact you've got five fingers or something like that, then that is potentially alterable. The rate of change is so vast at the moment Things are happening so quickly in the theoretical sciences and in technology that science fiction is having a job keeping up with it. Filmmakers are not immune to the cyberpunk phenomenon. It's about a time when people can store their brains in a computer and wait for a new body, sort of the next step up of body donor parts. So what it is, it's touching on the nerve of immortality. Because then really, as long as you can keep getting fresh bodies, you don't ever have to die. Perhaps what's more relevant than actually keeping the intent than brain transplants is brain implants, which theoretically then should be able to interface with the brain. So it opens up whole realms of possibilities of little things to stick into yourself, to stick it into your neck to teach yourself a foreign language or learn a new skill or whatever. It's here, all of it. SF says it and 10 years later it happens. You never really write about the future. It has to be about the present. SF has always been the genre of ideas. They're always slagged off when they appear, and almost immediately events follow them through. Gibson's predicted the virtual reality who are. I thought it was a lot of nonsense. I had never heard of virtual reality. And then when you realize that this is something which is fact it's happening you know these men are creating this and that's always very exciting we had been wanting to do a cyber film for quite a while and it came to us that there was a great story behind the uh, this technology coming into culture as we blend with the machines that extend our minds and extend our bodies what does that mean to culture what does that mean to the way people communicate in here we can be anything we want to be What does that mean to the way people have sex? What does it mean to all those different questions? And that's some of the things that we deal with in this, uh, in this film. What stories are the cyberpunk writers interfacing with now? Gibson and George Alec Effinger have both discussed the biological implications of things like SinStim and little computer jack-ins that they all wear behind their ear. Ian MacDonald's just produced a most impressive book in this society that the head is severed connected into some sort of biotechnological matrix and kept alive. Ian's decided to go plunge straight into this sort of, this notion of the organic future, which I think is, um, the, the way science fiction generally, I think, reflects to some degree the current preoccupations with real science. A transgenic animal is just the name we use for um, an organism in which you've inserted a piece of DNA. You read a book rather like it's like a film unfolding. I, I see it as a succession of frames, the whole story, and I uh, freeze frame incidents and make sketches. We might be entering in the next 50 years, we might actually have a post-human society. You wouldn't have to eat, you just stand like a plant in your garden, start an egg and develop your own food. <laughs> if you don't like your eyes, we'll just slap in a new set. So sort of gigabytes, two, four megabytes and gigabyte size files. Try and download them through a rip, they just blow it away. Designer drugs, kinky sex, and playing games. That's science fiction, the whole thing. That's the whole thing wrapped up. <laughs>